best entertainment on the earth. Tune in for Comics with Perch. Hey everybody, this is Perch. I by and large avoided talking about the uh, Johnny Depp Amber Heard thing. There's uh, plenty of people who are doing that. But um, I've gotten a couple questions, like, and they basically are all the same question. It's, it's do I think Amber Heard's going to be removed from Aquaman as Mera? Number one, and if she's not, why is it that Johnny Depp gets uh, gets punished, but uh, Amber Heard does not? Uh, so, I mean, the answer is obvious. I, I think there's when you're talking about domestic abuse, uh, it's going to go by and large one direction. If the man is found guilty of domestic abuse, uh, then it is going to be uh, hard on the man. If a woman's you know found guilty of domestic abuse, people are going to think the man is some kind of pussy who can't uh, handle his woman. I'm, I'm I, I wish I was joking about that last bit, but that is that is the thought process that people have. Um, and I, I say that in jest, but it's really not. If you, that is actually how the mentality usually works. Now, the reality is it goes without saying, but, you know, somebody just to, just to prevent the person with the comments from coming in, um, you know, abuse can happen either gender, either direction. Uh, any human being is capable of abuse and ev- every human being is capable of being abused. So it's, it's certainly that it can go any direction at all. It's just that that's why society tends to look at it in different ways, why they tend to, you know, excuse one gender and not the other. Is it fair? No, no, it's, it's not fair, but it's not fair kind of in the same way that, uh, and man, I know people are going to hate this analogy that, um, when, you know, a, you know, a, a a couple has a baby, the default expectation people has is that the, uh, the woman's going to take care of the baby. Now there's biological reasons I understand, but there's just, this is how we've been baked as a society. People are, are naturally going to lean this way or the other. And yes, things are changing all over the place and there's obviously stuff shifting around. And I do wish that when we're talking about actual physical harm, violence, domestic abuse, that people would, uh, you know, look at it more fairly because it needs to be fair. But anyway, I'm just, that's why. Do I agree with that? No, but that is, that's why. So to the question of, are they going to remove um, Amber Heard from being Mara? Uh, probably not. Now, I say that because, uh, one, I think the, the studio, so I think the studio's default position generally is they would rather not remove anyone from anything. And I don't think they really wanted to remove Johnny Depp from the role. Um, in, I don't know if they're going to do more Pirates of Caribbean, but you look at like, uh, the Dumbledore movie that's out right now. He was the villain they had been, you know, setting up, uh, for Grindelwald in that, uh, in that, this Harry Potter trilogy, which is not doing well. I mean, the, uh, the, it's, it's just, it, it doesn't, it's not making the same kind of money Harry Potter does. It's not exciting people. There's no book to kind of run to. It's kind of hard to understand what these movies are fully about in a lot of cases. And Johnny Depp was a big draw for those movies. He was, you know, somebody people know and like. And, and Disney, or no, it's not Disney. Who the hell's doing that? Uh, w. Warner. They, they don't, they're not excited about removing Johnny Depp to it, but they basically took a calculated bet and said that, hey, people are going to continue to bitch and harass us about this stuff. They're already harassing us because, you know, J.K. Rowling's name's on this, and she apparently, you know, hates uh, all trans people. So, you know, we can't have two. We can't have two controversies going on. It's that's that's one too many. So they they dump uh, Johnny Depp. And I'm sure in that, too, it's like, and, you know, on the bright side, we don't have to pay as much for, what, Mads Middleson? So I think that's that's basically what's what's happening with Amber Heard. I doubt that that's a huge paycheck. I mean, I I, I mean it's a big paycheck, it's bigger than what I'm going to make this year. But it's still it's not it's not Johnny Depp kind of money. And I also think uh, you know it's Aquaman's you know girlfriend. Ah, I think their 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 view is like ah, who cares? I, I mean, we'll we'll see what happens later when we actually get around to getting Aquaman two out. That's that's how they're going to view it. Um, again, is it fair? No, but that's how they're going to view it. Now, this could change if uh, Amber Heard something like really reprehensible happens, but unfortunately, in the society, um, you know, they, she'd have to do something racist. I think at this point, for them to move on from her, the domestic abuse is not going to cut it because again, a lot of people are going to look at it and go, "Well, what what can a woman really do to a man anyway? So uh, how bad could it be?" That's the way they're gambling. The normies are going to take this. Okay, again. 
I, that's not that's not true. That's just the perception that's going to come out. Um, I, I am I am laughing a little bit. I have not paid attention to a lot of the uh, of any of the story. I know a lot of other people have, but I did laugh. Um, so today there was a a, a testimony in their trial, and they got their uh, like a marriage counselor to come up and testify. And the marriage counselor is basically like both these bitches be crazy was, was her, that, that's a summary of, of, of her testimony. But, uh, I, I some of the, the lines were comical. Um, like, uh, she was basically, it was a mutual abuse, but then she uh, said, um, what was some of the languages that, uh, Amber Heard was, had a jackhammer style of talking and made it difficult for Deb to get a word in. If, again, it feels like this is like, this is where I miss Norm Macdonald so much. Um, cause he would have a field day with this kind of stuff. Um, and then, uh, you know, from the thing, you know, Mr. Depp says to her, no one likes you. You're getting fame for me. I'm falling out of love with you. You're a whore. <laughs> and then, uh, and then uh, finally uh, said, uh, when asked if she was paid, the marriage therapist said very poorly, uh, describing her as extremely demanding, calling her at all hours and on weekends, but refusing to pay her overtime. Um, anyway, that sounds like a miserable person. That's, that's basically, uh, you know, that's basically what it, uh, what it sounds like. Sounds like both people were kind of miserable, quite quite bluntly. But um, uh, during one over one confrontation over James's salary, uh, Heard allegedly went berserk. She leapt up out of her chair, put her face approximately four inches from my face. She was spitting in my face, telling me, "How dare you ask me for the salary you're asking for?" Uh, recalled the ex-staffer who was later fired. Um, anyway, again, sounds like miserable people. But uh, this is, uh, you know. She's not going to get fired. I, I know there's a lot of people who really would love to see her dumped by the movie, and they would view this as as justice. And it it would be quite bluntly if uh, Johnny Depp was was removed from projects because of domestic abuse. It's now come out pretty plainly that Amber Heard is a miserable human being as well, and also did abuse, and and should you know if if we're living in a fair and just world, should suffer the same punishments for it. But um, but uh, you know that that's that's not going to occur. Uh, as it turns out, you can be a miserable human being, and depending on your biological makeup or your race or other things, you can either get away with or not get away with quite a bit. It just uh, just just kind of depends on on the situation at the time. I suspect that if we were to fast forward, say, you know, 15, 20 years, things would probably be significantly different about what people would be able to get away with and what they couldn't get away with. I, I think that that would be uh, I think that that would change. Um, I, I mean, in general, I, I guess I, the way I look at it, it's kind of funny is, is like of all the roles you could recast, like in this Harry Potter thing, Mads Middleson looks nothing like Johnny Depp. Like the only, the only interest I have in watching that movie, this, uh, third, uh, secrets of Dumbledore movie is to see if they acknowledge the fact that you've got a completely different looking actor in the role. Like, is, are they going to say anything? They'd be like, Oh my God, what, what did you do you get liposuction? I mean, I hope to God they make some joke along those lines. Like, what what happened to you? Um, but you know, meanwhile, um, over in Aquaman, like I feel like you could recast Amber Heard in Aquaman like too easily. Like, I I mean, maybe this is just me, but Amber Heard does not have a distinctive face and does not have a distinctive acting style either. Like, there's not I, I, Johnny Depp. I mean, you could argue John Jeff is very distinctive as an actor, so much so that, I mean, he's uh, they've run his character and a lot of his stuff into the ground. I mean, the, the last five years or so of Johnny Depp's career, he's basically playing the same quirky weirdo character in all the movies. And, you know, it, it's he, but it's very distinctive. It's it would be hard to you know replace him with Amber Heard. Like, I, I mean, if, it feels like you could just throw a rock out your window somewhere in Burbank and, and just pull in another actress, you'd be fine. I, I mean, maybe I'm, maybe I'm missing something, but, uh, but her does not seem like it has any, any real uniqueness, uh, that, that I've noticed. I mean, hell, if you dyed Brie Larson's hair and threw her in there, I'm sure it'd be fine. You could do that. Anyway, I don't know why the, the question I have for you, the audience is this video is going out. Why do people care so much about this particular one? Because people do. Like I get a, a remarkable amount of mail. I think of, of non-comic book, celebrity movie type stuff. By far, the most amount of mail I get is around Amber Heard. Why? 
Like what, what is it? Is it just the injustice of the situation? Is that what, what people are really, is that what they're, they're, they're keen on? Cause, um, seems strange to me. I, I, I don't know. It just, it seems like kind of a non-person. I'm not saying ignore it. I'm just saying I, I, you know, again, I, I, even in, like, if you look at, um, you know, the actress for star Wars, uh, Ray, if you look at, uh, you look at Captain Marvel, Brie Larson, if you look at several of these other, uh, yeah, hell, the Valkyrie character in the Thor movie, um, these, these actresses all get way more kind of, you know, uh, if, I, I don't know, attention for their roles. Amber Heard, it's like the only thing she has going for her is this uh, dynamic around fair or unfair about the spousal abuse stuff. I mean, I, 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 I've never heard anyone talk about like, wow, that movie, Amber Heard was just uh, incredible in that movie. I hope, I hope she doesn't get in trouble and they have to recast her because she was, she had, she was, she played an amazing role. She was the best part of Aquaman. I mean, I I don't know. I, I, I feel like you could kind of replace her with like a CGI Ariel from the little mermaid. You'd be fine. I don't know. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm crazy about this. Anyway, please explain to me why people care. If, unless it's just literally the, the injustice of the situation, I, I, which, okay, I get. But is there some other reason? What am I missing here? Anyway, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for listening.